the 600cc market dominated by sports bikes yes we've got the cbr 600 ZX6R, Yamaha's R6 and the GSX-R600 all snapping at the heels. So where does this Suzuki's GSX-F600 fit in? In the real world, that's where. Sure, its power at 80 brake is down on a sports bike, but it's got more power than a 1.4 Ford Fiesta, so it's not exactly underpowered. In fact, the retuned GSX-R motor is a perler. It's smooth and torquey and ideally suited to a sports touring middleweight like this. And talking about touring, look at this. Might not be very fashionable, but it's got a centre stand. And that's ideal when you're touring because you can store your luggage on the back, strap it onto the old bungee hooks there. It's great and also it's good for maintenance because you can adjust the back chain. In fact, I think no bike should be without one. So what else have we got? Well, up the front, this fairing, really neat, very smooth, fared in. It's not massive, but it does the job and it's surprisingly effective. Here you've got really good mirrors. And I mean, these days they are more and more important, but it's really a treat to see everything that's behind you instead of just seeing your elbows. Inside the cockpit itself, instruments, nothing that fantastic, but everything's there that you want, including the old fuel gauge. And as you can see on top of the forks here, they're adjustable for rebound damping. Down at the bottom, again, nothing fantastic, but the brakes, four pot calipers, two of them, no problem. Stops the bike. Again, this is a real world bike. What more do you want? And at the back here, the rear suspension, that's adjustable for preload and rebound damping. Not exactly easy to get up, but nevertheless, it's tucked up under there. You can do it. And it all works very well. Some might not like the round styling, but I think it suits its role well. It's an all rounder, you see. Anyway. The riding position is relaxed, the fairing very effective, and the motor, as I've said, is as sweet as a nut. Derived from the air, oil-cooled GSX-R, it can really motor if you want, but it's just as happy burbling along in the mid-range. Weight-wise, it's a reasonable 200 kilos, and the suspension is more than adequate to cope. It's compliant, but not soft, and the handling is fluid, safe, and predictable, making for a relaxed ride. And that's all helped, of course, by this massive seat. Plenty of room for two up, and also you as the pilot sit in this, not on it. But also, underneath there, if we just lift off the old seat, Suzuki say there's four and a half litres of storage space under here. And you can see it, there's that big trough down the bottom there where you could put your waterproofs in. You've got this space here for a U-lock and the tail in there for your tools. All very useful stuff. And what you can also see, of course, useful for a touring bike, is this, the old grab rail for the pillion passenger. Just a job. Reinforces its touring capabilities are the old bungee hooks. You've got one there, one there, one there. That's six points altogether to get those old bungee elastics on. You can see the old helmet lock there. And also, if you look up on the fairing here, we've got the fuel tap with a reserve position on it and a priming one. Really useful. As you know, most bikes just got warning lights these days, but you can't beat a reserve. If we come to the rear end, very appropriate that, this tyre looks narrow by today's standards, 150mm cross-section, but it's adequate for the job. It's sensible, remember. Now, while I'm here, you can't really forget this or omit it. What does it remind you of? A baboon's bum, I'd say, but it's perhaps that's a bit unkind. But anyway, onto more practical things. Silence are down there, all stainless steel system, right from the end can right through to the engine. So if you're an all-weather rider, this could be the bike for you. So what's wrong with it then? Nothing, absolutely nothing. And why don't we see more of them? Because we want to be noticed, it seems. This one, you see, is for the thinker, the one who thinks more of his pocket and his bum than he does his image. It'll do everything most of us are capable of, and at 5,174 list, or just 4,199 for this parallel, I have to say it's a bit of a bargain. Born again, think again. This could be for you.